Okay, well, x equals 0 happens at the, I mean, there's 0 there. So it is the y-axis. She is correct. It's really the y-axis. Okay, 5 thirds x, our intercept is 0. We go up 5 over 3, down 5 over 3. We connect our dots. We've got a line. Solve the equation. Doesn't seem that bad either. Um, if I combine the like terms on the right, I will have 8p minus 8. If I subtract p from each side, I have 7p and negative 1 and minus 8. I add 8 to both sides. 8 minus 1 is 7, so I end up having 7p equals 7. Could you have done this a lot faster to get to p equals 1? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, since we did all that and that seems a little crazy that p is 1, I want to check myself. 1 minus 1, well, that's 0. 5 times 1 plus 3 times 1 minus 8. Well, that ends up being 8 minus 8, which is also 0. So, no, I am not crazy. That is really the correct answer. I did those super fast. Are there any questions on the bell ringers? Okay. On the LTF lesson, on the LTF lesson, who is in charge of your group, ma'am? Hannah's not here. John Davis in charge now. Okay, uh, so bring me yours from yesterday, ma'am, please. Okay, we started the LTF lesson yesterday. I see Emily's group has started. Emily has her graph drawn somewhere. Where's your graph for number one? Will you bring that to me? That's what I want to see. Okay, Emily's graphs are in my hands. Her number one is still not good enough. Her number one is still not good enough, and most of yours is not either. I graphed this, it does not have enough points. If your table goes from negative 3 to 3, then I ought to be able to see on your graph negative 3, comma, I ought to see that ordered pair, and I ought to see 3, comma, whatever. And I see you have negative 3 squared is 6. That is not true. 3 squared is not 6. It's 9. So it ought to be at negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9. I ought to see all of those points on your graph, and I have not for most people. I did for, Gavin has his completely, but I have not for most people. So everyone's still lacking on number one, but we're rocking it on all the others. Okay, on number two, I knew she was the detailed one. She's gone into detail of to who is the steepest and why. Do you have to put as much detail as, let me zoom out on all hers, as she is doing? No, you do not. You can either, she even wrote what I said, so smart. You can either sketch a quick graph. She did that. She also has a table showing her reason for her selection. It is okay with me if you just use your words. I selected D because my group decided that one was the steepest and like how what the steepest means like we we're I need to know you know you and I are on the same page with steepest you can just use your words if you would like there were some like she actually is drawing each of them out like here's a here's B here's C here's D that's a great idea or you can put a B C and D all on the same graph the way you were doing it on Desmos, you could put them all on the same graph. But again, does she have to go into the details she's using? No. As long as she uses her words, that is okay as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hand her back her things in a second. So one through seven was our goal yesterday. Her group made it to number four, obviously, so you marked off five, six, seven. Okay, so she, they need to do 5, 6, 7. Our goal is to get all the way through 14. But if you look at the back, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, does it go out of order? 10, 11, 12, 14. There is no 13. Where's 13? It's gone. That's okay. There is no 13. Okay, the ones on the back are all multiple choice. Multiple choice. 
So surely we can figure that out. And since it, it says match on 11, 12, and 14, on 10, 11, 12, and 14, it says match. Does that word match imply that you have to explain yourself? No. No. But the ones that we were needing to explain ourselves were like number four where it says determine. Determine. Or if they want you to state which graph is the steepest, you literally need to state which graph is the steepest. Like it's asking you to in the question. Okay, do you have to use a graphing calculator? No, I don't care if you use Desmos. But I'm going to bring you a graphing calculator. Actually, Kaylee's going to bring you a graphing calculator to each group so you can be done. Who was in charge of your group yesterday? Uh, it's not Josh anymore. It's Natalia. Um, who was in charge of your group yesterday, Gavin? It's Emma today. Was it you yesterday, ma'am? Melanie today. We don't need one you do not have to come show me after every.